Today we're doing a reading on the Long Island murders. Uh, we're going to be doing a reading mostly on Shannon Gilbert and then we're going to see what else comes up, what other kinds of information come up, okay? So I want to talk about Shannon. Okay, so I do know a few things. I know that uh, she drowned, right? I know that she did, did have a history of drugs. I do know that um, there were eight bodies that were found around Gilgo Beach that is like, you know, been done by like the alleged serial killer. I know that all, if not most, most if not all of them are sex workers. And I know that Shannon herself is a sex worker. And I know that um, Rex has been arrested, but like, or is a suspect, but is not is not um, undergoing trial yet. Here was the information I already have, okay? That I've already verified via Google. But I'm gonna tell you all of it so that whatever we get moving forward is something that we can, um, we know is coming from an authentic source. So uh, when Shannon came to me, right? So I'm a medium as well. When she came to me or when I kind of ushered her in, my spirit guide ushered her in and sat her down on a seat. So I felt extremely drained because I saw her to be extremely drained and like pale blue. So that could be a loss of oxygen, right? Or I always get that feeling of feeling drained after I go swimming. So, or like, it's just like my arms hurt and all that. So after I go swimming, that makes sense. I didn't know at the time that she had drowned. Um, I did see her holding her arm to me. This is heroin or a history of heroin or other hard drugs. So we know that. I also had a connection to soccer or football or softball. There's some form of like a, an athletic sport. So I don't know if she would have done this when she was younger. I know that her relationship with mo her mother um, was not always the best. They were both very strong um, women. And so it, I feel like they butt heads a lot. But we're going to try and see what else kind of comes up. Waiting, joyfulness card. Is someone expecting a baby? Oh, the child The child card doesn't always mean a baby, but why is there a baby? Or why is there a child here? Mm, a child, in, very interestingly enough, and this is really sick, you know, but sometimes the child card, I feel like, relates to like someone young and someone vulnerable and not na like naive. Um, well, these are associates. Okay. How did she pass away though? The Lord card is here. The sorrow card. So the Lord card, this is about someone in particular, someone who has power over the other person. Someone could, ha could have brown or dark hair here as well, or some form of facial hair. Okay, um, sorrow. She was already feeling quite high, which I know this because when I'm in her energy, and I, I'm in this right now, like I'm just, like I'm here, but I'm like very, just floaty energy. I almost feel like my arms are numb. It's not lightheadedness, just numb. So, okay, I get that. She was already kind of high at the time. Maybe there she was with a group at some point and then left by herself. Um, there's definitely something in relation to a group, but like this is her as well. So she would have been on her own at some point or left to be on her own. Now the Lord card is here, the sorrow card as well. The wife card is here. Okay. Someone here has a child. Does she have a child of her own? Someone here definitely has a child because it's like the wife and the child here. So that makes sense. Okay. Um, and the child could have been around um, just moments or a few hours before. She could have been around a child a few hours before. If it's not her own child someone that she works with or someone she interacts with definitely has one that she would have been around a few hours before uh okay all right how does she pass away the scholar pleasure seekers in the wedding so i know that um because she's a sex worker right so i know that this is like the business deal the pleasure seeking is that the scholar is an old man it's definitely a man there's a man that's definitely involved here there's drugs involved here. I'm not seeing the violence aspect yet, but the Lord is also about overpowering another person. So we'll see, okay? I want to see and I want to clarify first. How did you pass away? Was it murder? Was it an accident? Um, I want to see your picture clearer. No, this is about like having had too much to drink. This is being inebriated or 
being high, you know, being under the influence of someone or something. Someone might have also given her something just to like exacerbate that. Um, yep, there's the water. See, there's the two. There's two guys here. Why are there two guys here? What the fuck? What's going on? I don't understand. Um, but there might have been two customers. That could have been something else as well, right? But I, I just feel like she's already drugged or dr um, under the influence of drugs herself. But the moon card. Okay, so this definitely happened at night. I was seeing a crescent moon, so I definitely feel like it was around nighttime and I saw that it was dim. There was definitely some form of like an influence there. There was someone there, but I don't understand exactly how this happened yet. Was there also like lightning or thunder around the time? I just saw something flashing. Now the flashing could also mean that something caused her to be disoriented because um, you know sometimes that's like like I can't see. It's really extremely disorienting for me. I was seeing things like Tanya from White Lotus because I was seeing Shannon say something like oh you know like I'm, I'm kind of a klutz sometimes or I make stupid decisions sometimes and so I land myself into difficult situations and so I was seeing Tanya and uh, spoiler alert for White Lotus um, like how she passed essentially that was kind of a mishap an accident but then I was also seeing an image of someone who managed to grab onto something or managed to to figure it out but then was subsequently drowned so how they said this or how they showed this to me in my head was like if i fell into a pool and i found the ladder and i'm gonna try to get up but i'm feeling really disoriented i can't even see straight because there's water in my eye whatever um so i'm tr trying to get up there but then someone pushes my head down now since this is an ocean and not a pool right this would mean that there's something that would have happened like that which is like you're already disoriented. Yes, she did. She probably did slip or like something caused her to have a bit of an accident. Um, that was, she, she was already kind of drowning, but not completely. Um, I just saw 1111, but then that someone might have also added pressure to that. Um, yeah, there might have been two or three people that she had worked with that day in terms of sex work. And I see you're leaving someone. So I do see her being alone, but hold on. Let me see what else. Things changed in a sudden. Things turned over all of a sudden. Again, I couldn't grab hold of something or someone or I couldn't like find my way back. So I see her again being disoriented in this situation. Um, but yeah, this is the same sign. Is someone a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius? Because I definitely see something. And this is someone she would have already left or had an encounter with and then left. This is like... I was seeing the Knight of Swords when I tried to do this uh, reading earlier, but like I'm seeing it as Page of Swords now, so someone could be that sign or could just have a know-how about something. So again, it does it hasn't changed. My I'm sure this is confusing, but it feels like something happened already. She was like kind of drowning already, but like the feeling is like instead of someone saving her, like you probably spotted her, you could have saved her instead. You like brought her there some more or offered her something to drink but it was like that still had drugs in it like it's something somebody added to it okay i hope that makes sense it's like essentially it's like um like you drown but like make it to shore and then somehow you're lured back into the ocean or it's both and that's why people can't figure this out completely because it's both an accident and an intentional thing i also was hearing like um when I tried to do this earlier, I was hearing threatening to kill you, but I didn't really get much else after that. So, um, I know that there's a, there was a distressing 911 call. Someone wasn't her letting her leave. That's what I feel. Because especially with this, this is the, the lovers card. And like the lovers has been appearing a lot. The lovers is a separation or a breakup. I feel like someone was not letting her leave. I feel like someone was trying to get her to stay. And it was something, the two of cups is here. Again, that's a separation. This is detachment. This is a page of cups. This is like someone trying to detach from a situation or trying to leave, but someone not allowing her to leave. And maybe she got a sense of it and was like, that's kind of sketchy. And it's like, maybe that's why she's trying to like try and move away from the situation, but that that person wasn't really letting her do that. You know, um, I don't know if this was the card there earlier. I think so. 
but yeah the high priestess it's like i don't trust you i don't trust this again we have a lot of the imagery of the crescent moon as well the car isn't working i can't how do i leave from here and so i see it as like something would have prevented her from leaving someone or something or prevented her from i know she was running at some point so again i don't mm, know the events of the 911 call i didn't actually read the details of that um but something definitely prevented her from leaving or something was threatening her safety for sure getting aggressive and violent is what i'm hearing i'm hearing i'm seeing someone grab someone's wrist like this and it's like really tight i'm actually seeing someone like um and this is like this is why i try my best not to look at the details as much as possible god like so i was seeing like rex but like i'm not sure if i was seeing rex okay actually let's be more clear about that i'm not sure if i was seeing rex but i was seeing someone that looked like shrek in human form i'm sorry for saying it that way but like that's how i can best describe it because it's like when your brain's trying to understand the situation um that's what it looks like and this person was stabbing another person but i feel like that was metaphorical of like someone being very angry so someone was definitely getting violent with her threatening to kill her or like did something that spooked her that caused her to flee or something like that um you know yeah and especially with the page of swords here that to me is like more of like again a threat like that's the only swords that's the only like you can see that all of the um this is all first and foremost men male energy yes a page can sometimes be a woman but in this case it's all been men or male energy uh except for her energy which we don't even really see her here but also that there's always something about money right or being given something again that makes sense with like business dealings business offerings um the one thing you see that's a bit different is the sword which is like to me that's the only significator for violence in tarot so essentially what i'm seeing is someone who's extremely fucking angry like i almost feel like i see someone's eyes turning red and it's literally like a beast no other way to describe it you know just a beast like situation judgment card is in reverse the star hold on I just know she felt safe like I'm hearing an argument ensue. All I hear is screaming or like not screaming. Hold on. Let me understand this better. All I see is like her again, it's like I see her doing this and just being like, "Um, like that's my cue to get out essentially." Like something happened to her or this person hurt her. Um the arm or the hand seems to be very important and it's like she did have a moment of like, "I think I need to get out of here." So I don't know how this is going to fit, but like I think I need to get out of here. Um and this is like to me this is also medical attention since it's like a red cross. So I kind of just see this as like like someone wasn't allowing her to get medical attention or someone wasn't allowing her to get out of a situation where she felt harmed or hurt or unsure. Again, look at how this turned out, right? This was like placed with the the page of swords again maybe this person was trying to do something really um dark with her you know like i'm even seeing something like okay let's just do something like i'm being kinky here but it's like um i don't know something with knife play or whatever so something was like very off and she started to notice this and this was her trying to get attention medical attention or just attention in general bad idea i'm hearing a bad idea like that's a bad idea that's bad or poor judgment I feel like I really feel No, I don't know. I feel like she was murdered. King of Swords. Yep. Magician had a hand in it. Avoiding conflict or drama, medical attention, hermit card, avoiding my secrets being revealed, the temperance I did something to. I don't know. The way that I see it, it's like this person is in a position of power or standing or like has a really um maybe notable in their community. So I definitely see someone do something to her. Again, it could be that she was already drugged, she was already like drowning or whatever, or she already had a bit of a misstep, she was already disoriented, whatever. But I do see someone having a hand in it. Now, this person is very smart. They or even if they're not smart, they knew what they were doing. 
they had a hand in the situation they had the tools at their disposal they knew that this was going to be bad for them this is the vibe of like if i'm like a politician and like this person who is a sex worker is about to go they're going to cause attention to be drawn to them because like what if they reported to someone now the people are going to know who i am they're going to know my name um my family this person might be married or have kids even like my family my wife remember we were seeing the wife card earlier i can't i don't want to move it now because i don't want to rearrange the cards yet but like my wife might find out the lord card is someone who's like and the, the scholar card came out okay thank you the lord and the scholar that's someone who's in a position of power a position of authority or is a notable expert in their field okay the eagle card is like popping up like i wasn't oh my god okay fuck sorry the lord card is here because i'm like medical support are you kidding me october is here too not that it's necessarily and the moon card the skull the head sorry dagger yep okay here's what, like i wasn't intending on that but my eyes were getting really drawn the eagle again is someone who's kind of in charge someone who again this is air energy as well this is just someone who would have seen things or understood things you know i'm seeing a lot of like brown hair either someone with a facial hair or like a beard or someone with like long hair even um yeah because i feel like i was seeing that earlier too hold on but i was also yeah the lord card was looking like this and i'm seeing this now and i'm drawn to this also now very interesting because the lord card in this deck was the one sticking out right the support card is here this is someone needing medical attention so that's pretty fucked up um we also have october may be relevant to this person or eventually would be relevant the clouds again that's the moon right i told you it's like someone was very disoriented could not see straight the dagger is here fears worries 10 situations this one hidden secrets can harm you like i said there's someone here who's trying to protect a secret someone who's trying to protect their stature their status their um, position in their family um, and someone was willing to kill for this i can't stop hearing the word summer or savannah but i think it's because i'm trying to remember shannon's name but um anyway I wonder if Summer or Savannah will also be an important person or someone who has a connection here. The snake, see the snake is manipulation. Yeah, I'm not even going to fucking say anything. This person, they may look like this person or they may have similar vibes. They may be a Christian. This is Jesus. They may be like a very like notable Christian or someone who's very Republican or sorry, or conservative, you know? Yeah. The snake is here. The snake to me is often a manipulator. So, I mean, all I know is that this person definitely, so this is the peacekeeper. Someone was trying to mend a situation. The fox card and the snake card are often like trickster um, spirits. The hermit card is here. We talked about the hermit was there earlier also. Someone could be a Virgo. Um, the hermit is also like, again, trying to keep a secret or trying to keep things in your comfort zone, wanting to be alone trying to keep things hidden someone cannot be trusted it's in reverse someone was really afraid that they were going to be found out and they had a reputation to up upkeep they may earn a lot of money this was going to cause a lot of heartbreaks they wanted to move away from the situation i mean quite honestly this is also sailing someone out to sea so yep yeah. this person has an addiction they may have like a lot of like interactions with sex workers drugs and alcohol like this person has a lot of vices but they're also possibly in a position of power um they are also very into kinky things whoever this person is there's something about power play for sure um yeah financial loss okay yeah so this is the feeling of like oh i i'm so it's weird because i feel like this person does have money but it's like if she if shannon said can i get paid now because i need to go and they didn't want to do that and they're like no you should stay yeah yeah you see i don't know i feel like it was it was kind of murder as well like it was there was okay let me be careful about that there was definitely someone that influenced her taking flight or someone that was preventing her to leave try to detain her Bergerfin is an institution again she was injured she was some there was something going on she was already injured by something because this is like she was already hurt she was trying to go to a medical institution for some help or something and again a threat was kind of thrown i don't know 
see the eyesight is here. That's like being forced to kind of um, keep your mouth shut. I don't know what the Six of Pentacles is yet, but this has appeared this appeared again because this was already out in a previous reading and I still couldn't figure it out. But the Six of Pentacles could be someone in government, law enforcement, linked to charitable institutions. Or um, Six of Pentacles is about following through with something, a contract, accountability. Yeah, so it could be that this person just didn't want to take accountability for whatever they had done. Um, and they were scared that this would lead back to them. This person also is someone who has a very dark side to them. It's gonna sound so gruesome, but I'm seeing like an essentially an ogre, right? Shrek in human form. I'm seeing an ogre and I'm seeing this thing like stab um, someone or something. And it's like just very bloody. And again, I'm seeing this person's li eyes light up red. So I know that that's a metaphor. That's not the truth of it, right? But it feels like someone with anger issues, like extreme anger management. So the wedding was there, someone could have been married, wife, pleasure seeking again, the scholar, the Lord, yep, someone has a child here, the joyfulness, maybe even three children or maybe three significant members of the family, but this is also three significant um, sex workers as well. The sorrow and the waiting card is here. That could be someone who feels miserable at home. That's, that sometimes that's the case, you know? Um, waiting for a little bit of excitement, um, and that's why they did this. This is someone who feels maybe beat down at home or something like that. See, this is the home. It's meeting up with people in private. Old woman, could be a woman that's in charge. Maybe they like someone who's older. I don't think so, but it could be that they like someone that acts a little differently. Again, old woman and servant, that's like power play. The prison card is here. Yep, detainment. The sweetheart card is always the main character. The enemy someone could not be trusted so she was being like kept in a place yeah see i blindfold i something about money was also an issue there illness whoever this person is they like that they're being talked about it's sick again this is the wife card this is someone who may also have a have a wife is doing this in the shadows could be like this even this guy in the middle i'm not getting male energy but it doesn't have to be right but it's someone who's like hiding in plain sight or like you probably would never expect because they definitely have like a good standing in society. I'm not making sense of it, which that's how I know that my energy is starting to wane. We have gym buff, health conscious, special diet or lifestyle, keto or vegan. This person may have also had a heart condition. Same age range. Okay. We have Asian. We have indigenous or native heritage. We have blue eyes. Artist, crafty or creative. Wealthy, abundant, Nepo baby. Is it confirmed that they were killed by a serial killer? Two people. Yep. I wonder if their wife knows about it. This is a partnership. This is either that there are two people killing like all these eight people, or if this person is married and their wife knows about it, it's not a secret to them. Someone knows about it. Whoever killed um, the eight people, whoever the serial killer is, um, yeah, I just feel like someone knows about it. They've already entrusted someone about it. See, there's the Queen of Swords. This is someone who directs. This is someone who knows how to get away with things or is like capable of planning. Someone knows about it. So remember, I was also saying that person was the King of Swords or like the, the Swords energy. This is why that's the King, Queen of Swords. This is this person's partner. So it doesn't have to be the same, the like um, opposite gender, of course. So it can be a partnership between two kings, right? But I just see a partnership between two people. Two people know about this. Yeah. So my question was, is there a serial killer? Because I want to know if it's like, is it multiple people or is it not? Here's what I see, right?
revolving around one person. So I definitely feel like there is someone. There is a serial killer. There is one. If this if this has been confirmed, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to see what I see. There's a serial killer. There is one person that this revolves around. Um, they're all connected to this person somehow, one way or another. So it's you guys are going to be capable, or like the police is going to be capable of finding the connection with the justice card upright. So I feel like this has the potential to be found, okay? Might be an air sign, but not necessarily. But this is the person seeking violence. This is also someone who has the know-how. Um, this is also someone that's very heavily connected with things like drugs and party, etc., which is what I already said, right? While connected within that industry. Um, I also feel like this person gives them something. This is like roofie vibes or something. Like I'm going to give you something to drink and it's like, you know. Um, but yeah, it is surrounding one person. So there's definitely like a serial killer here. But again, this person has a partner that helps them through this or helps them figure this out or just knows about it. Seven of Cups, this is, okay, that's the murders. They need to be careful when it comes to time because I keep hearing something like, um, is there something like statute of limitations with this? Like if enough time has passed, then it's not even going to be brought to light anymore or something. All I know is law enforcement need to be needs to be very careful with this because I feel like this person's gonna try and find a loophole. Um, this is the seven, this is one. This is the devil. So there is one person, again, two people connected to this. Okay, we understand that. Connected to the deaths, business between two people, or an agreement between two people. The sun is in reverse. This is um, could be just something that is not illuminated yet, okay? Someone's lying. Hmm. The King of Cups is lying. Someone is pretending to be a very, like a family man, or is lying about being a family man. Yeah. They need to look at the wife, or they need to look at the partner, because they might find something out. So this is the vibe of like, if this person says things like, yeah, I have a perfect family, I'm super like, I'm a dad and I'm like you know, loving my home life. But then we found out from the wife and her posts on you know, like social media or Instagram or whatever that like they don't really spend time together. Like, I feel like there's evidence, but you have to look at the people surrounding this person rather than looking at the person themselves. I'm really seeing whether it's going to be brought to justice yet. I don't see that. It might be a long process. Um, I also feel like someone might lie in like law enforcement. That's just the feeling I get. Misfortune. Eventually this person will be brought to justice. It might not be for every single crime though. So that's super interesting. Self-sabotage. So they might, they might actually, hold on. They might actually slip up because they might, um, this person likes the attention. They like knowing they're being talked about. They like being seen as smarter than they actually are. Um, and this person isn't going to walk away from the situation. They have an attachment to Gilgo Beach. This is going to sound weird, but like, I feel like they have an attachment to it. That's what I heard. It's like, so when I was asking, like, what are they not going to walk away from? It's like, I don't know. I think they have an attack. Oh, sorry. So yeah, it could be an attachment to the beach itself or an attachment to the, the activities itself. So it's just a matter of time before they do this again and they're going to mess up again. And I feel like they're eventually going to get found. You know, it may have to be like two attempts before they get found, but I feel like they're going to get found. There's also someone else protecting this person. They might be protected by like generations or... I don't know, someone in charge. Seven of Wands. They can fight off all the accusations. You need to be looking at something else. Like, 
testing elements wa the water you know what i was even getting because i keep seeing the drink right and I, I feel like there's something about the drug or this person does something to them like they slip them a drug or something like that so the vibe is it's like if you look into the drugs that they have or if you guys are going to investigate his home it's like okay is there something around his home that could be used as like a drug or you know could be crushed up and like created into a substance or something that's already there i'm gonna stop here i need to stop here because i'm getting extremely exhausted and i need to like yeah i need to stop here but that's what i have i hope this makes sense i hope this helps someone um let me know what else you want me to do a reading on make sure to give me the um what's it called the name of the person don't give me any details though okay or like only give me the general question of what happened or like what we're trying to find out so I can um, figure it out better um, and suggest anything else you want me to do a reading on below. Wanna book a reading with me? Book me at mediumisabal.com. Everything you need is in my description box below. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.